Mount Rainier, the towering, snow-covered stratovolcano that dominates the skyline of southwestern Washington state, experienced a swarm of small earthquakes earlier this week, prompting heightened monitoring by federal and regional geological agencies. Despite the noticeable uptick in seismic activity, officials have assured the public that there is no current threat of an eruption, and that such activity remains within the volcano's normal behavior. According to a joint statement released by the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, Cascade Volcano Observatory, and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, PGNSN, the seismic swarm began shortly before 1.30 p.m. local time on Tuesday. Over the next several hours, instruments recorded hundreds of minor tremors beneath Mount Rainier's summit, with the most powerful measuring a modest magnitude 1.7 on the Richter scale. The earthquakes occurred at depths ranging from 2 to 6 kilometers beneath the surface, a region commonly associated with the movement of hydrothermal fluids and minor stress adjustments within the volcanic edifice. Importantly, none of the quakes were strong enough to be felt at the surface and no surface deformation or other eruption indicators were observed. Seismic activity like this is a regular feature of life at Mount Rainier. The USGS noted in its advisory, we typically observe about nine earthquakes a month in this area and swarms like this occur once or twice a year. Although this event is somewhat stronger than usual, it does not indicate any heightened risk of eruption. Mount Rainier's alert level remains at normal and its aviation color code is green, indicating routine volcanic activity with no immediate hazards to aviation or nearby communities. Scientists continue to monitor the situation using a network of ground-based sensors and satellite observations, as even small changes in the volcano's behavior can provide early warning of more significant geological activity. This recent swarm recalls a similar event in 2009, when Mount Rainier experienced a three-day period of heightened seismicity that included more than 1,000 tremors, the strongest of which reached a magnitude of 2.3. That episode, like the current one, passed without any escalation into eruptive activity. While Mount Rainier has not erupted in modern recorded history, geological evidence suggests its last eruption occurred around 1,000 years ago. That event did not produce lava flows, but like many of Rainier's past eruptions, it likely generated pyroclastic flows and lahars, volcanic mudflows composed of water, ash, and debris, which posed the greatest risk to communities downstream. Due to the mountain's extensive glacial cover, even a small eruption could trigger catastrophic lahars capable of reaching populated areas dozens of miles away. Mount Rainier stands at 14,411 feet, 4,392 meters, and is the tallest peak in the Cascade Range and in Washington State. Located within Mount Rainier National Park and approximately 90 kilometers southeast of Seattle, the volcano is a beloved landmark and a popular destination for hikers, climbers, and nature enthusiasts. On clear days, its majestic silhouette is visible from much of the Puget Sound region.